everyone, and welcome to the College of Communication, Information, and Media at Ball State University. My name's Emma Trent, and I am a junior double majoring in Spanish and telecommunications with a concentration in emerging media production. Today, along with some wonderful other student hosts, we're going to take you through some of these spaces and experiences that you're going to have access to from your first day here at Ball State University. Our tour starts in the stunning lobby of the David Letterman Building, so let's go. So we've got a set set up and there's just lots of fun things constantly going on. So here behind me, we have the uh, the upcoming eSports facility here in Robert Bell. Hey, welcome to WCRD. Let me show you around. Hi. Over here, we have the host station. Um, the host controls all the audio that goes in and out and makes everything sound amazing. So this is the control room and you can kind of see what's going on for everything in here. We use these studios for mixing, recording. If you look over here, there's a bigger room. We use that for recording bands. There's a lot of fun stuff happening here. All right, and now we are heading over to our next stop in the tour. We're going over to the Ball State's Sports Link area. We've done a lot of featured stories with some of the athletes here at Ball State, and it's an amazing opportunity to work um, with some of those athletes um, who have awesome stories here at Ball State University. I'm going to take you in Studio A and B, where we do a lot of our student ran programs and find out what that really entails. This is where original content for Ball State PBS is produced and for our student organizations here on campus. And now we are heading to our next stop, which is another set of audio studios. We call these the Letterman and Clone Studios. It still has um, such great resources for you to practice and just really be able to hone every single set of your audio skills and merge that with your video production. TCOM we think is, is cool. I think you've seen some of the facilities we have. Um, we're pretty proud of them. We like the fact that uh, we're giving students the opportunity to tell their story, to tell the stories that they want to tell. If it's a student who's out there who's interested in coming here to school, uh, I, I don't think you can make a better choice than Ball State University in the, in the Department of Telecommunications. Hello, future students of Ball State University. My name is Kaya Hill, and today, myself and a few friends are going to take you on a tour of the Communication Studies building. Come on, let's go. Can you tell us about the concentrations offered at a communication studies major at Ball State University? Sure. Um, there are three concentrations for the communication studies major, uh, interpersonal, public, and organizational communication. What can our students look forward to after completing one of these concentrations? Well, each one of the concentrations has unique skills that they can apply to a variety of career tracks. Hey there. I'm Trent Seward, a junior at Ball State University, studying interpersonal communication. Here's one of our faculty members, Beth Mesner. Could you provide us a little bit of information about the clients that we work with on our immersive learning projects? Well, immersive learning is a wonderful opportunity for our students to be able to apply their skills and their knowledge sets. I feel like the communication department here is grounded in foundational skills to help us become better people, better communicators, and help us connect with people on a whole different level compared to anything else we've known before. I'm Erica Brinkley. I'm a junior public communication studies major here at Ball State. And right now I'm taking you to the Comm Speech Center. This is a place where graduate assistants help undergraduate students with their presentation skills. And Drew Gaydosh is one of them. So our department is actually dedicated to helping students develop invaluable professional and public speaking skills. Next up, we're headed to the Ball State speech and debate teams. The Ball State debate and speech teams are open to students of any major here at Ball State. These students work alongside faculty, graduate coaches, and other students. Our students actually travel around the country to compete. And if you're in the area, you can come stop by the third floor of the Letterman Building and say hi. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ben Heber. I'm going to be your tour guide today. I'm a representative from the Department of Journalism and I'm a junior here studying journalism graphics. So today we're going to be meeting with one of our favorite members of uh, our faculty here at the Department of Journalism, uh, Dr. Johnny Sparks. If you're interested in using communication to tell stories and make a difference in the world, we have, a, we have you covered here in the Department of Journalism. That's good to know. And now we're moving on to our next stop on the tour, which is our Journalism Workshops office. It's really been a great experience to be able to do like real work in my field while also pursuing my degree. Now we're on to our next stop on the tour, which is uh, AJ380. You'll see uh, that all of this, as I said before, um, features 20 MAC stations, 
Uh, and most of these uh, ha are equipped with um, all the software that you'll need to succeed in these courses, including the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite. Okay, now we are here in the Holden Strategic Communication Center, which houses McKinley Avenue Agency, uh, which is a fully functioning PR and advertising agency here on campus. And here to talk with me a little bit more about that is Ted and Allie. They're both members of the McKinley Avenue Agency. Everyone that works here really knows um, what they're gonna have to do when they get out of college. Our next stop on our tour is the Unified Media Lab. So could you talk to us a little bit about uh, what publications are housed in here? We have uh, four student media groups. Might we be able to talk to some students? Please, absolutely. Zach Pyatt, um, he's actually our editor for the Ball State Daily News. And Kellen is actually our editor for Byte this year. What we do here gives us the opportunity to have Anybody come in at any experience level that they might have, and we take them to that next space. If students are even thinking about getting involved, they really have to get involved. Okay, so we're on our last stop on the tour, and this is the Unified Research Lab. Now, not a lot of people know about this because it's new to our university as of 2019 and 2020. The coolest part, in my opinion, is the technology that we have at our disposal, which includes biometric and psychophysiology equipment that helps measure like implicit responses um, such as eye tracking and heart rate recording as well as virtual reality headsets so we can kind of play around with some VR as well in our testing. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we hope to see you on campus in the future. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour through the Applied Technology Building to show you guys our amazing computer technology program. So let's go ahead and get started. There are lots of different spaces and labs in this building and to help show us all is our program director David Wong. So we'll start off in the networking lab and um, this is where the infrastructure um, begins where you know, people are able to communicate. And we're going to speak to multiple students throughout this tour. So let's go ahead and say hi to our friend Kaden. I've had a wonderful experience. Uh, I came in with very limited knowledge to the networking field and I've learned a lot. And it's great to just know that within this program, you will be able to get so much professional experiences from some really, really amazing resources. And here we have our friend Robin, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her experience. I've really enjoyed the CT experience because it allows me a lot of opportunities to work with my hands. It also provides me a lot of real world, real world situations which have really prepared me for my internships and got me really excited for future careers. And as you can see, the connection with professors within Ball State, the connections within programs and the outside resources that you do have access to are really one of a kind. And these are things that you will only be able to access here at Ball State University. If it wasn't for the things that I learned in CT and the basic knowledge that they gave me and the foundation they built, uh, I would not be able to have launched into the world of security and had the opportunities I had. They are able to use this software in the labs, but they're also able to use it on their own computers so that they can practice these skills outside of the classroom. As you can see, we're going outside right now and the Applied Technology Building is right next to the Scramble Light and the Teachers College. And it's just a great place to meet up and it's a great hub for campus. So the Applied Technology Building is a really great space no matter what program you are doing. And that concludes our digital tour of the College of Communication, Information, and Media. If you're wanting to see individual tours of each department in our college, you can check it out on our YouTube at BSU CCIM, and you can also find us on the social media channels linked below. Thank you so much for watching Cardinals and have a great day. Chirp, chirp.